It happened. We got some Halo news. So the Halo Infinite update for March 2020 has gone live. Finally, we got some news to talk about, so let's not waste any more time. Let's just dive right into it. If you guys like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. So let's dive right into this bad boy right here. So they mentioned that the three things that they want to accomplish with this is saying addressing issues, negative impacting to player experience, completing season two and delivering it as it promised on May 3rd, and also continuing work on campaign co-op forge and season three content as well. So they confirmed here that yes, season two is still planned to launch on May 3rd. There is no delay yet, at least planned for this second season, but we have the title of it called Lone Wolves, which is gonna be quite interesting to look into. They state the theme of season two being the theme, we mean a core idea that guides the creation of much, but not all of season's content. Lone Wolf Spartans are hunters, trackers. They are resourceful improvisers operating deep in the enemy territory without resupply or support. They are fierce, rugged, and prefer to work alone, but they're still loyal to the Spartan Pact. Here is a quick sneak peek of Halo Infinite's Lone Wolves and yeah this content right here like this yeah give me some of this this looks great like i love this armor set right here this, even though this is concept art right it still looks awesome like i definitely would want to unlock this and put it on my spartan because it looks freaking cool interesting thing they talk about story content the little spartans we just saw actually have names i'm not gonna try to pronounce them because they're crazy difficult and instead we'll learn more about them as we dive into season two's story a mix of cinematics story themed events battle pass items and more that embody the lone wolves theme so we actually have like some actual story content coming along with season two as well i'm not expecting a full-on campaign or anything i'm expecting an awesome cinematic and maybe some kind of events tied to the story as well which would make it much more thematic much more like a update like a brand new season we're also getting a new fracture core as well right here this was part of like some of the leaks that we saw previously of this armor set that kind of looks like a minor kind of mining kind of set. This thing looks like a freaking tank and we'll be able to unlock it with season two. They also state during season two, we will also be shipping playlist updates, balance changes, new modes and maps, specifically one arena map called Catalyst and one BTB map named Breaker. The new modes include Last Spartan Standing, a free for all elimination mode, as well as another mode called Land Grab. Plus the return and updated all time favorite of King of the Hill, which an updated version of King of the Hill. Be interested to see what they change about it. There's some concept art of the map Breaker, which does look pretty sweet. Very familiar to like, say what Deadlock or something like that, but maybe a different kind of theme to it. Definitely interested in seeing how this map plays out. Here's some more concept art of the map Catalyst. Now they said this is a paint over, so most likely they have a gray box in some capacity and they kind of paint over it. This art style is exactly what we need, like some variation, bring in some of that more sci-fi element, because right now the default map pool that we have, well, still good. It just looks very UNSC human focused. We need this more sci-fi elements to this sci-fi shooter. And this map looks to do just that. They also state right here, we will have a lot more to share about the season two maps, modes, customization options, and narrative concept in April. So that's pretty much probably the next time we're gonna get any kind of true Halo news is gonna be next month, which we certainly will cover on the channel as well. Next is a little bit of a heartbreaking news, but things are still kind of on track, but it seems like there's gonna be a little bit of a delay here. As it says right here, that all this means that we will not be able to ship campaign network co-op on May 3rd at the start of season two but there is still an aiming to deliver campaign network co-op later in season two, and we will share the release date for that and for split screen co-op as soon as we can. So yeah, we have to wait a little bit longer on co-op, but we're you know just a few months away. That's quite heartbreaking. They also mentioned Forge information here as well. Then we are internally flighting Forge to a small group of community creators and are working closely with them to ensure that all of the terrific experiences of creating, sharing, browsing, that's a big one right there, and playing Forge content. So are we gonna get a content browser along with Forge or do they mean like browsing Halo Waypoint to like download the stuff? Well, we just kind of have to wait and see until we get some more information about that. They said they still have the goal of shipping Forge with season three, which should be a right around like August to September timeframe. But in the meantime, we still have some more information about the tactical ops event, which we were leaked that the 
release date was going to be delayed and it was but now we actually have a reveal that it's going to be starting next week with tactical slayer variants as well as some more optimization and customization for your mark 7 core if you guys don't know anything about the tactical ops event check out this playlist right here check out my video i just uploaded that will tell you all the customization everything you need to know about the tactical ops event and that's just about everything we have for the march update guys so this is great to see that like at least it's mainly what people have i think have been asking is just what is coming with season two? We have never had true seasons in that live service game like Halo Infinite. I mean, we've had a little bit with MCC, but now we have it with Halo Infinite and we don't really know what to expect. Now we fully do. We have two new maps. We have some new modes coming in as well as a, well as the returning of King and Hill, which we also have covered previously on this channel. I think this is all people really wanted to hear. They just wanted to make sure that like, yes, things are still kind of like being worked on just to set proper expectations. But as soon as we get some more information, guys, there's actually a lot more to dive into this blog. I'll break down in more detailed videos. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure you tap subscribe. So catch you on the next one. Peace out.